hi. Thanks for watching my video. We're going to be doing another uh, Queer Eye in The Sims video focused on Candy and her sister Yuki Bear. This is of course the series where we make over Sims lives, but instead of five guys, it's just me. And this time, I thought the lovely Bear sisters could do with a little bit of a makeover. So in case you didn't know, we have Candy Bear, a young adult, who lives in her, I want to say, dead grandmother's house with her teen sister, Yuki. So Candy is Yuki's guardian. They live here together. Candy loves DJing. Yuki loves computer hacking. That's just the way it is. So this video is going to be similar format to the other videos. We're going to have a little bit of therapy. Maybe we'll get some food involved. We're going to have some makeovers inside and out. And uh, obviously the house will get redecorated too. Candy apparently has work today. You know what, Candy? You know what? You're going to take a day off. All right? Self-care is more important. We're going to take a vacation day. You deserve it. You've worked hard. Well, I don't know. This is my first time playing with you, but I think, ladies, let's just have a little sit down. We'll figure out a plan as to what we're going to do. I think it's fair to say there's a little bit of tension in the house. Don't know if you guys would agree. Oh, apparently not. They've just proved me wrong there. <laughs> just speak your minds. No judgment here. This is total safe space. Okay, Carla understands. Carla understands. I think Candy's just getting to grips with the responsibility of having a teen to look after. Sometimes you just wish she'd pull her finger out of her arse and do the washing once in a while. Just wish she'd realise that she wouldn't have an allergic reaction to picking up a fucking broom every now and again. Get back here. Sit down, you stroppy teen. Oh, Candy, honestly, I don't know how you deal with it. I don't know where. You must have the patience of a saint dealing with this kid. You bored? Keeping you up, am I, Yumi? Huh? Let me guess. Sick of living in your sister's shadow? You want to establish yourself as a goddess in your own right? We'll get you there, Yuki. Okay, you just have to trust me. Okay, do you trust me? You trust Carla? Yeah? See that, that she's softening as she walks away. How do I reach this kid? Right, I have a plan. I think we need to give these girls a bit more individuality. They do have groups, although they don't seem to know anyone in their groups. So you know what, um, Candy, I'm gonna send you out. We're just gonna go to the pub or something on your own. We're gonna meet up with your group and then maybe Yuki can meet up with her group another time. We just wanna try and get some friends. So we're going to go, and go ahead and assemble the Spin Masters. We're going to start a gathering over here. Stay here. Stay here. The rain is starting to uh, clear up, so why not? Hey, boys. All right, Candy, this is your opportunity to get out there. Maybe throw a water balloon at them, you know? A little bit of foreplay. <laughs> of all the introductions, she chose to bow. See, this is nice. Talking to people, getting out there. Maybe tell a joke. Tell a funny story. Tell a funny story about your sister. Tell them about times she wet the bed or something. That would be hilarious. Get to know. Things are going well with these boys. I like this guy. Maybe there could be some romance in the air for old Candy, huh? How about that? He likes patio decor. Oh, that's my type of man. I love it when a man likes patio decor. <laughs> Tell me more about birdhouses. Talk to me about benches. I want to know everything. This guy won't shut the fuck up. He's not even a very good singer. It's always the people that can't sing that just want to sing all the time. <laughs> he just stopped abruptly just as I said that. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Sorry. Okay, well, this, this has gone well. I think we can go home. Pretty satisfied with your progress. So Candy has some friends. Great. Okay, Yuki, I think there's just about enough time for you to go and meet some people. It's very important that you both have your own friends. So Yuki, maybe go to the coffee shop? So we're gonna have a, so we're gonna start a gathering with the avant-garde's. Oh, here they go. There's a, potentially a new friend. Oh, look at her making friends. She made a friend with a cool hat. Yeah. What's your favourite flavour, Starburst? Oh, we are going to be best friends. We're going to have sleepovers and gossip and brush each other's pubes. Maybe even we'll give each other a vajazzle. Oh, bit close. Actually, no, that's okay. We like being close. 
Maybe there's some love in the air for, uh, for you, me too. Complain about parents. Oh, it's sad because she doesn't even have any. I'm pretty sure she doesn't, actually. Let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't even, it doesn't even exist. She's an orphan, practically. Oh. I don't think we can be romantic, though, because they're young adults. Okay, well, at least you met people. It's getting pretty late, though. It's midnight. You should probably go home. Candy will be worrying where you are. Wait, did you see that? Dolly and Candy now despise each other. Dolly is a child. Candy, what did you do? Honestly, we left her for five minutes and she's like picking on a kid. You can't hit kids, Candy. You can't hit kids. <laughs> so Candy's in the street with this kid and she's got a mood buff saying triumphant from fighting. <laughs> She's really proud of herself because she beat up this kid. <laughs> this must be some sort of... This has got to be a mod gone wrong. Oh, that is funny. That is funny. Right, come on, Candy. Come, come home. Come on, Rocky. Put your gloves away. Let's go home. Right, this has been a real eventful night, hasn't it? I think you two should both get some sleep and then we'll pick up where we left off with this transformation tomorrow, shall we? I think that we've had enough excitement for one day. Okay, it's a new day. I think we're almost ready for a makeover. There's just a couple of things I'd like to do first. So Yuki, for one, uh, we're gonna go get some ingredients. Because I think, you know, your sister's done a lot for you, so you should probably try and treat her to a meal. So we're gonna do a bit of cooking. You have to. It's part of the show, they have a whole bit for cooking. So we are going to cook a nice dinner for our sister down Henford on Bagley. There we go. Okay, let's just go and buy some grocery shop items. We're going to do something pretty simple. I mean, we can't expect a miracle. She's a teenager. Thinking something fruity, maybe. So we'll get some blueberries, cherries, strawberries, watermelon. That will do. That will do. We'll figure something out. Okay, go back home. We only popped out quickly, so... Uh, Let's get, let's get making breakfast, I guess. Maybe we can make pancakes with strawberries on top. Okay, Yuki, let's make something. I'm looking forward to giving this kitchen a refresh. Now, what can she make? She could make a fruit salad with the fruit that she has. I mean, every little helps, doesn't it? So make a family serving, and then that way you're, you know, making yourself useful. Give you some practical skills that will help you in adulthood. Oh, Candy's coming over to observe just to make sure you're not fucking it up. I feel like I'm being unnecessarily mean on teenagers right now. <laughs> also, did anyone notice? I think it came from the update. They've made teenagers look more like teenagers. There we go, Candy. Grab yourself a fruit bowl, my love. Yeah, I know the update happened a while ago, but I've only recently noticed. <laughs> so, do you guys feel like your communication has got better since we started this journey? Yeah, I feel like you're listening to each other more. I feel like you're starting to learn to not live in each other's pockets. Yuki, you feel like you're not living under your sister's shadow now that you made your own friends? Huh? Candy, you got coming to grips with the responsibility of being a guardian, even though you're just a baby yourself? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I feel like maybe I might just get a um, little bit of openness, a little bit of mindfulness. I'm just going to do a little bit of meditation. That's it, girls. Just practice some yoga. Find your inner zen. Just think about nothing, really. Just focus on being present, being in the moment. Think about things that you don't normally think about. Yeah, ponder things. I like to ponder when I'm meditating. Sometimes I wonder what's the closest a bird has ever got to space and how high would it have to go before it would just explode. Why do members of staff at a show think that we won't move in the event of a fire? Yeah, just stuff like that really makes you think, doesn't it? Makes you think. If snitches indeed do get stitches, then who snitches on the snitch? Or is it just an endless round of stitches? I think that might just be how a gang works, actually. Oh, this is great. This is really great. It's nice to see you two just finding some inner peace. But I think that's enough of that. That's enough. In fact, I'm going to go into my Cass full edit mode. And I think it's time for your little makeovers. So let's do that bit. 
This is uh, the part where Jonathan and Tan really shine. Okay, let's start with Candy. Babe, I don't know what's going on with that makeup. That's coming off. I'm gonna put my smooth skin over the top. Now I do have a custom content hair that I have in mind for Candy. I'm gonna give her some eyelashes first. Stick some lashes on. Probably gonna pick her outfit before I worry about her makeup or anything. Might use this top, I don't know. I can see Candy as being a bit of a free spirit, so I can see her wearing something like this. But we'll keep looking. She's very thin, isn't she? I mean, I get it, she's athletic, but I kinda wanna maybe just give her a little bit more, just a little bit more of a realistic <laughs> waistline. Do you know what, I wasn't gonna put her in flares, but I'm kind of digging this look. Although they might work just as well. Okay, I think I'm pretty pleased with the outfit. Let's just work on the makeup and accessories, shall we? Okay, I'm pretty happy with that for Candy. I would consider her made over. Yuki, your turn. Now, Yuki is a little bit more rebellious. So I feel like I'm gonna give her a little bit less color than Candy. But I don't know, I might change my mind. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, and I'd say that's Yuki done as well. So we've got Yuki and Candy. Perfect, perfect. Okay, well with that, I think, actually it's a good thing you guys are already outside so then I can start giving your house the makeover. I'm gonna do this bit off camera because it'll probably take me a while. So I will be back with you once it's done. Okay, so we've had a bit of a redecorate. This is the new hallway. The house is a lot more colorful than it was before. A lot more pink <laughs> than it was before. I feel like this is probably more influenced by candy. But yeah, this is the kitchen come dining area. And then down the hallway, we have the living room. Again, it's a lot more colorful than it was before. If you've seen a lot of my videos, you probably know that I like to have very colorful builds. I don't really know what neutral colors are. <laughs> so let's have a look upstairs. So upstairs we have the little hallway. And then on the left hand side is Yuki's room. Again, arguably a bit more colorful than it was before. She still has her computer and her little gaming station. But uh, yeah, I've kind of, I gave her a frog as well. I felt like she would have a frog. Some little cartoon collectibles up there. A few postcards. But pretty much stuck with the uh, blue and yellow theme. I found with both rooms actually, I just kind of focused on two main colours. So Yuki's colour was yellow and blue. And then Candy's room on the other side, pink and purple. Pretty much just matched their bedrooms to their hair colours. But yeah, this is Candy's room. She's still got her boombox and she's got some space to do a little dance if she wants. And then the only other room now is the bathroom, which I try to deliberately use a mixture of both colours. Because Candy's room is pink and purple, so I've got a lot of pink. And Yumi's room was yellow and blue, so there's a bit of yellow. So I kind of figured, well, the yellow stuff will be Yumi's, like Yumi's robe, Candy's robe, Yumi's towel, Candy's towel. Oh, wait, no, it's Yuki, not Yumi. Yuki. But there we go, that's the house. Had a little bit of a facelift. Um, other than that, though, I feel like my work here is done. Look at them both, still meditating in the garden, little bit of zen. Uh, well, yeah, I do feel like my work here is done, though, so I'm going to end this video here. Um, do you like these style of videos, the makeover videos? Let me know in the comments. If you do, let me know who else you would like to see have a Queer Eye themed makeover. I'd love to know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye